Hey y'all, Jay Ray here. Today is finally the update video of that skincare routine. Y'all, I'm so sorry. It's been taking me so long to get that video out because I had to do a, an, a sort of experiment. So it took me some time to do that. But now I'm here and today is very a very important update. I had to tell y'all what product has been causing me to break out and get more bumps. So... Yeah, I'm so disappointed in this product. It's an imposter, but I have to tell y'all about it. So just sit back and watch. So I had just got done recording a video and that's why I have this makeup on. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off and get into the routine. Right here is where I started using the Aveeno Foaming Cleanser. Of course, I didn't hold it up long enough um, for it to focus but everything that I use will be down in the description box below and I'll put it in order so it'll be easy for you guys to follow I used a foaming cleanser for about a minute or two and um, then I just washed it off. In the previous video, I washed the foaming cleanser off in a weird way. Like I kind of over wet the brush and then just scrub it off. Like it's hard to explain still, but in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and be an adult about it and just wash it off my face with water in my hand. I um, always start this routine with clean hands, y'all. Don't forget that. Start this routine with clean hands so you're not putting no germs back on your face. In a few seconds here, I'm about to realize that I forgot to bring my cotton rounds in the bathroom with me. And that was the reaction to that. Look y'all, I got my microfiber towels. Yeah, I remember when I said I was going to get them? I got them now and I'm so excited about them because it makes me a little less of a nuisance to the earth. So with these towels, I use one towel a day. The same towel in the morning and that same towel at night and then I toss it to the side and use another one for tomorrow. And then I'll wash all of them at the end of the week or whenever I use them all up. In my last video, you'll notice that I used the micellar water with vitamin C as a cleanser, but in this video, I'm using it as a toner. So I just use it, you know, whenever or however I want to. Uh huh, get the back of them ears because you know they dirty. And here it finally is, the product that was causing me so much headache and heartbreak, this Cetaphil Moisturizer, okay? This Cetaphil Moisturizer would make a bump appear every time I would do my routine, and I finally figured out the imposter amongst the group, so now I have a new moisturizer, and it's the Oil-Free Acne Moisturizer by Neutrogena, and it is helping me to clear the bumps that Cetaphil brought upon me. And y'all wanna know what's so funny, but not really, because I bought the Cetaphil and I bought this moisturizer at the same time, but I was so scared to use this moisturizer because I thought that it would have the effects on me that the Cetaphil actually did. And it turns out the story is just completely topsy-turvy and I had it completely wrong. So this product actually helps me and the Cetaphil caused me migraines and headaches and devastations and mortifications. So y'all know Miss Amby is the start of the show. Like she just pops out and makes her appearance because she just knows that she's that girl. And she knows she's the, she she makes it all happen. So um, <laughs> I've been using her just at night for spot treatment because I just wanted to do a more relatable 
routine because I know most people is not going to want to wake up and dedicate a whole hour to, you know, this spot treatment. So I started using her at night just to, why am I calling it her? Go, okay. <laughs> but I started using the Amy just at night um, just to see how it would uh, treat my face and how long it would take for the spots to clear up. So I have to say this, I realized I didn't make this clear um, in my last video, so when I do the Ambi Spot Treatment, I when I was doing it before, I would just let it sit on my face for about 20 minutes and then I rub it in, but now I just let it sit on my face uh, all night, so I don't rub it in until the morning time. Right here, I'm just showing y'all that all the spots that I had previously, they're 99.7% faded. All of the new spots that I'm treating, they're new. Mm-hmm. Trifling, right? Today is Sunday, February 14th, and um, I started treatment on the 5th of February, and this is where I am. definitely made a lot of progress in just nine days even with me doing the treatment only at night um i do just do this the treatment at night due to um most people they don't have time to get up in the morning and do a spot treatment so i realized that and you know i just want to be a little more relatable and realistic um so I know most people would only be doing the spot treatment at night. So I just wanted to do an experiment on how that would look for most people. So it's been four, it's been nine days. I still have a little more to go. Like I said, if I, if I had to have been doing the um, spot treatment in the morning and night, it's definitely a way to speed up your results. But I know most people don't want to get up an hour and dedicate an hour in the morning to spot treatment so yeah this is how things will look for you if you are that person y'all don't be making fun of me in my in my wig cap y'all know y'all be walking around like this too don't even front don't even be acting like you know y'all just hell just done it all the time y'all know y'all be walking around in this okay i um, don't act like i'm the anomaly in here okay let me go ahead and put some clothes on because my mom finna bring me some back to eat and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm about to get ready to go so bye